So oh, we're in the mafia. Yeah, we are. I'm gonna That's go talk great. to uh, Lohar. <laughs> oh. He's got this portrait of Anhar surrounded by candles next to him. Oh, oh but they're a bunch of dwarf criminals. Who cares? <laughs> they're not yeah. real. Doing mm. dwarf crimes. It's dwarf like crimes. Yeah, it's like half to two thirds crimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's like, oh, that's adorable. He stole, he stole 30 gold from the door. There's a key bank. behind that book. I can't reach it. Oh, well. Marla, like he was my own. This. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. A wet red spot shows through. Ew. This ain't the thanks I expected. What's he have to sell before we do anything? So he was killed. He was almost killed by his like adoptive daughter. Is that what this was? I Looks guess like so. It. And they're beating the shit out of her. He's actually got a damn nice dagger for you, Shell, but it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. Who sent you? <laughs> uh. The formidable dwarf slams his fist on the side table. You hear a loud crack. Wait. What the hell is he wearing on his head? It it's looks a rat, skin. but it's super stupid looking. It Dire looks like a rat. cat or like a. It, it looks like Look somebody really... like photoshopped like a crown on top of his head, and it looks terrible. Look at that really happy like elf portrait in the back of the room. It looks like somebody painted. Oh yeah, over one of the Patreon photo. people. Yeah. yeah. Or the uh, Kickstarter. That's yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a that is a rat head on his head. That's, That's weird. That's what I said. Said on his head, rat. Head. I was looking at it from the front, and it kind of looked a like rat a of uh, unimaginable size. It, it looked like a copy bar or, or something. Or what was the right. actual term? Enough. Hmm. Do you know they killed Anhar? Do ya? Start talking sense, or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. Uh, interject. What's happening here? Bart, Kate, get her to talk or bleed her out. She ain't one of mine anymore. His sneer travels from the restrained dwarf to you. And you. You better have a damn good reason for coming here. All right. Well, I guess Lauren. I have to talk to him again. <laughs> I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. Ask, uh, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, so you said, brave lad waltzing in here now. I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. Uh, ask what sort of news he's after. If you don't already know the answer to that, I reckon you don't have much to tell me. He winces loudly and holds a hand to the bandage on his side. The large red spot in its center has grown larger and wetter. Offer to patch that up for him. Leave the wound alone and it'll patch itself right up. Longer it takes, the less likely you'll let it happen again. Longer it tapes, the more likely you're just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Well, that's some sound advice. That's why I said it. <laughs> so, how'd you make it out of Fort Joy? Let's see. Smile broadly and regale him with a tale. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, I'm impressed. I love a good story. Here's one I heard lately. A group of strangers landed on the beaches outside town. Meister Seaver's people. You one of her little seekers? Chasing down Godwoken and begging them to save us all. Grin, say he's got the gist of it. So? What do you want? Let's see. Ask him if he knows why you're here. Reckon I do. Knowing Seaver, she sent you looking for sorcerers, I bet. I could help you, but last I heard you was working for the Magisters. Big shots at the Bo 